Hi, I'm Dempsey Pillai, and this week I'm reviewing... Anna and the Apocalypse was directed by John McPhail, and stars a cast of relative newcomers led by Ella Hunt, who is amazing by the way, but we'll get into that later. She plays the titular character, Anna, and the film follows her and her group of friends as they try and survive a zombie outbreak that's come to their town. And this film is a Christmas horror musical. Yup. But don't let that trick you into thinking that it's bad, because while it may seem like quite a concept, it's actually a pretty pleasant surprise. Now, I actually hadn't heard of the film until about a month ago, and even when I saw the trailer I thought it looked kind of cheesy, but I must say, this film blew me away. While it is a mesh of a bunch of different genres, it never feels cluttered. The film manages to balance the holiday spirit, the horror, and even the music so wonderfully. The music is especially good because, well, for one thing, some of the songs are actually very catchy, but some of the songs also act as clever commentary tackling issues that today's society faces, such as everyone's obsession with perfection and even communication. But the best part about this film isn't the music or even its cleverness. The best part about this film, to me, was the actors. And I mentioned before how great Ella Hunt was. She's the main character. And honestly, she's probably one of the best heroines I've seen in a film in a very long time. And uh, her character, everything about her character was just so amazing, so iconic. And I really do look forward to seeing more from her in the future. But besides her, each actor brings so much to their character. There are so many likable characters in this film, and honestly, I don't remember the last time I saw a film with this many likable characters. And honestly, I would have loved to stay a little bit longer with some of these people. Despite everything that I loved in this film, though, there were a couple of things that I wasn't too fond of. And one of those things was the fact that at times, this film could be a little bit too predictable, especially in the third act. Towards the ending of the film, I found myself getting a little bit bored and I found it easier to anticipate some of the things that were going to happen. And I want to emphasize, I'm not saying that this film is boring at all. What I'm really saying is that I guess I watch too many movies. Secondly, this film really gave me some Shaun of the Dead vibes with its tone. And I know it's not really fair to compare the two, especially because they are two separate films, but what I guess I'm trying to say is that you can't watch this film without thinking of Shaun of the Dead. In fact, there's this one sequence that I already know a lot of people are going to say that this film stole from Shaun of the Dead, when in fact, I'm pretty sure it's just a really creative homage to it. And I'm obviously not going to spoil the sequence, but what I guess I'm really trying to say here is that um, this film is not a ripoff in any way, shape, or form of Shaun of the Dead, but it does mirror its tone pretty closely, and I guess in the end, that kind of hurts it a bit. But even despite that, it still manages to do something fresh with the zombie genre. It's fun, it's original, it's quite literally mindless entertainment. Or, should I say, smart mindless entertainment. Or even, you know, entertainment about creatures that eat minds. I'm gonna stop because I'm cringing on the inside right now. Essentially, this film is good, and it's something that I think a lot of people will enjoy but at the same time, a lot of people don't really know about it. So please go out there and see it, because I'm giving this film four stars. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I would ask you, please subscribe. I post new videos weekly, and I've got tons of new stuff coming out over the next couple of weeks. And I'm very excited to share it with you all. So I hope you stay tuned. And if by any chance you happen to see this movie, which would really be awesome because not a lot of people are flocking to theaters to see this thing anyway. Feel free to voice your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I'd really love to talk to anybody about it. Um, I think this film is destined to become a cult classic, but only time will tell. But yeah guys, thank you guys so much for all the love and support thus far. It really means the world to me that you take the time out of your day to view these videos. It really does. And I love making them for you. So I'm going to get back to work. And um, until next time, I'm Dempsey Pilot. Take care.